Okay, so now that Raspberry Pi 4 has USB boot, I figured I'd show which devices I used and uh, and how well they work with the devices. Uh, now, with Windows 10, it is an exception and you need to use an on-the-go power adapter, uh, which basically means that this plugs into the Pi and the power goes into here and that gives it extra USB supports. There's been a lot of confusion in the comments um, with not having enough power and things like that but it's only for Windows 10 that I'm getting this issue. So aside from Windows 10, and you can watch, there's a whole playlist about Windows 10. Uh, if I show you what two adapters I use, so let's get rid of all these hard disks to make it look a bit, hard disks and SSDs to make it look a bit more tidy. So we've got our Pi. Now this will boot with just this configuration. So I can plug this into the USB 3 socket and this will boot. It doesn't need any extra power. I'm just using an ordinary Raspberry Pi power adapter. And this is basically just a SATA 3 connection. Uh, and that works absolutely fine with all my SSDs and also all my physical disks. So I've got a 60 gig, a 20 gig, and this 750 gig. All of those are powered absolutely fine by just this. So just the USB taking the power from the Pi and I'm not getting any under voltage warnings at all. So let's move this one out of the way because I've just bought a new one because these seem to be quite hard to come by. Now I've put, I'll put a link in the description uh, and the model number and everything else, but, uh, but they are harder to come by and not that cheap. These are very cheap. So I bought this the other day from Amazon uh, for £7.29 and this is a SATA 3 connection. And on the other end, we've got USB 3 for data, but we've also got a USB 2 for providing extra power. So you could plug both of these in uh, and then plug in your hard disk, but actually you don't need to. You only need to plug in the data connection. So this still powers my two and a half inch hard disk. Now, if you had a hard disk which required more power, although to be fair, out of the three I've tried, all of these work absolutely fine. But if you did need more power, then you could either plug it into the Pi to provide more power, or you could plug this into another USB charger. So that is, well, if you're looking for an adapter and you don't want to spend a lot, these look like they're available. I'll put a link in the description, but it works absolutely fine. What does it say on here? It just says USB 3 to SATA, and speed results have been pretty much the same with both. I mean, I like the enclosure, um, but because of the way I work and uh, the amount of operating systems I try, I'm always swapping out disks so this is a bit more fragile if you're going to leave it in there it's a great i mean i've had this for ages i haven't damaged it and it and it's absolutely fine and i love the fact that it's just got an ordinary usb a connection uh, and you've got a little power light to show you that the data is going but um but yeah it's not not cheap uh, and if you're swapping out all the time i think i'm going to continue to use this new cable uh, and see how it goes but so far the speed tests have been great and the performance has been great. So let's show it booting up uh, in this configuration. So this is my 750 gig Toshiba. So plug that in, plug in just the data cable. Pop that there so we can get it easier in the shot. So because this is a RetroPi build, I'm gonna to need to plug in a controller. So let's plug that into one of those. And also I'm gonna to need to plug in my, this is a 128 USB stick, uh, which has got my ROMs on, my games on. And uh, so if I pop that in as well. Uh, so this is Damaso's build of RetroPie, uh, which is on here, that's 200 gigs worth. So if I now boot it up with my USB stick in, just to show that it can take extra power, it's still using this configuration. So that's gonna boot up now. So this is booting up from a 750 gig hard drive, physical hard drive. I've got a USB stick in there with my extra RetroPie ROMs and I've got my Xbox 360 controller. And as you can see, it's booting up fine and I can now switch to screen capture. So you can see I've left out this USB power cable. I don't need it. I am purely using just the USB 3 cable. So I think this is probably the best one to get because if you ever require more power, it's there as an option. Or if you're using this with 
Uh, say for instance you're copying ROMs over from another system and you need more power because your Windows laptop or whatever won't power this, you have this as an option. Uh, so, And I'm also going to try it with my iPad because I think this is going to be another option to get a physical drive connected up to my iPad. You can see it started up now, so let's just show you that it's all working. So 1008, so this is the games that are actually on the hard disk. If I quit and restart emulation station, and then that will rescan. There we go. So now it's different, and you can see that the game numbers show up differently. It's weird, if you've got a USB stick in, I thought it would add to it, um, but uh, what it does is it just reads the uh, ones on the USB stick. So you can see that Game Boy Advance has now shown two game, uh, four games, which are games that I've put on, uh, and Auric, which wasn't there before. PlayStation's only shown seven games. Again, games that I've put on. PlayStation Portable, games that I've put on because I've done it. Grand Theft Auto is not on this Damaso build. So obviously I can copy them over to my 750 gig hard disk, that's not an issue, uh, and it will read it from there. I've still got 500 gigs worth of space on there, um, but uh, if you just want to play a game that's not on the hard drive, you can use your RetroPie mount USB stick, and I've got videos of how to add games to uh, RetroPie, which uh, you can have a look at. So if I pick, in fact, let's go into PSP and go to Grand Theft Auto, because I haven't tried, have I tried PSP? I haven't tried a lot of PSP on this Damaso build, but uh, what I did try worked fine. Now I haven't got any audio set up with this configuration because this monitor doesn't have any sound. I can, I can plug in a USB sound card, uh, but uh, as you can see, I've run out of USB sockets, so I would have to use some sort of hub to do that. Uh, or if I plug it into my TV, obviously my TV's got sound, so it's not an Listen, issue. Actually, I think I can take sound from my I'll capture device. Know. But let's just have a look and see. Uh, yeah, perfect. Look. No issue at all. Yeah. Let's get... Oh, it's too fast. Let's go this way. Let's try and pop a little wheelie. Get a little bonus, do a little stoppy. Terrible stoppy. So as you can see, let's jump off. Let's see if we can get off here. Yeah. Uh, so you can see, working absolutely fine. So that's my recommendation for a USB 3 SATA device. It works fine for me, even with physical hard drives, without the extra power plugged in. Okay, so I recorded this video before I had this comment from MJan uh, pointing out that I'm using a J-Micron USB to SATA controller uh, and you can see in the video where I'm using it when I'm using Raspberry Pi Imager it actually comes up as the, as the source. Uh, it says here they're known to cause faults and usually have degraded performance compared to competition. If it fails then you consider switching to AS Media ones. Uh, much more reliable. Um, so I'll show you the two drives. Uh, so basically this is the drive that I've been using in the video and I haven't had any issues but the only issue I've had since this comment since recording this video is 64-bit Raspbian won't boot on it even though loads of other things do SSD physical drives all sorts of things have been fine but 64-bit Raspbian I've tried it multiple times won't boot if I go back to my uh, old drive my dynamo drive uh, it works fine every time so compatibility uh, if you pay a bit more then you do get a more compatible drive. But yeah, have a look at this comment and, uh, and see what you think. Okay, so I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.